the nanny one-year-old was quietly enjoying tea with the Women's Institute. The Queen made her annual visit to the Sandringham branch of the WI. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made the trip to Cardiff. The Queen showcased her sartorial prowess as she arrived for afternoon tea with the Women's Institute in Norfolk on Thursday. The monarch donned the season's trendiest coat in a pastel pink hue, which she wore over a chic floral pleated midi skirt. Whilst Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are on a royal engagement in Cardiff today, and Prince William is visiting a children's hospital, the nanny one-year-old was quietly enjoying tea with the Women's Institute. The Queen made her annual visit to the Sandringham branch of the WI and chatted to members over tea and cake. Each year she visits the WI branch at West Newton Village Hall in Norfolk and this time she was joined by guest speaker, BBC reporter, Susie Fowler-Watt. The Queen has attended the WI Group's meetings since 1943 and took over as president from the Queen Mother, who in turn took over from Queen Mary. In 1965, to celebrate the WI Golden Jubilee, there was a garden party at Buckingham Palace by gracious invitation of the Queen for a member from every WI in the country. While the Queen enjoyed a day in Norfolk, royal bride-to-be Meghan Markle and Prince Harry arrived in the Welsh capital to a tumultuous welcome from fans, but delays to the GWR train meant they arrived at the Welsh capital late for their third public engagement as a couple. Besotted Harry, 33, has made a promise to his bride-to-be to undertake visits across the UK. Before their wedding, to give the actress a chance to see the country she will come to call home and meet its people. Viewers recently praised the Queen's reaction after she was told the crown jewels were hidden in a biscuit tin 60 feet underneath Windsor Castle to keep them safe from the Nazis. The nanny one-year-old was speaking with royal commentator Alastair Bruce for a special one-hour program to mark the 65th anniversary of her coronation. He that a librarian removed the stones out of the jewels and placed them into a bath Oliver biscuit tin before hiding them in Berkshire. But the Queen seemed unimpressed by the news and simply said, HMM, did he remember where he put them? He might have died in the middle. Her reaction was noted by people watching the coronation on BBC One and one viewer said, you need better stories than jewels in a biscuit tin to impress the Queen. User Matt W added, Queen being told of the jewels being hidden in a biscuit tin during the war oh. Did he tell anyone? What if he'd died? She is genuinely wonderful in the coronation. The gems, including the Black Prince's ruby from the Imperial State Crown, were placed in the tin and buried under a sally port, a secret exit used in an emergency. The Queen asked Mr. Bruce, you think they were at Windsor? He replied, they were definitely, ma'am. The librarian gouged the stones out of the crown jewels and wrapped them and put them into a jar and put them into a bath oliver tin and hid them. Brilliant. But she seemed unimpressed and quickly said, HMM, did he remember where he put them? He might have died in the middle. The Queen added, we were told nothing, we were only children then. We didn't know anything, all the pictures disappeared, everything disappeared and one was never told anything. It was a secret, I suppose. Her Majesty, who spent her war years at Windsor Castle for safety, was aware of the general story but did not know the details until told by Mr. Bruce. The story was unearthed for the documentary by Oliver Urquhart Irvine, the librarian and assistant keeper of the Queen's archives, 